Hi everybody. Look at my cute little pupper here. One of them. This is the runt. It's been a couple weeks since I showed them to you. They're getting so big. So big. Yes. Oh, whiner. These are the two girls. And then their brother, who we call Sleepyhead, is up front playing to, with the kitty. Obviously they're playing with the nylon electric rope there. Oh, there he is. Hi, handsome boy. What you got all over your nose? Uh, what you got all over your nose? I gotta pick up the their dog food and then let the chickens out. Because if I leave the dog food out, the chickens end up eating it. And the, this dog food ain't cheap. Are you cute? Are you guys cute? Hmm? So now it's time to let the chickens out. I should have brought a cup of... Uh, <coughs> food with me for them, but I forgot this morning, so I'll just get to it later. We let them out. They free range, obviously. Their water looks good in there. So I'm going to go check for eggs. Uh, i got to clean their coop out again here soon. Yeah, the puppies get along with the chickens. They really haven't tried to play with them, believe it or not. Um, and the horses, we are concerned that they would try to play with the horses and end up getting stepped on or kicked or something. They haven't done that either. So these puppies will be nicely acclimated or introduced at least to other critters. And there's the, the cat here, so... They try to play with the kitty, but the kitty is an adult and does not want to do that. I tried saving my thyme plant and it didn't, it didn't survive, but the rosemary did. Um, looks like I got perpetual spinach and Swiss chard popping up <clears throat> along with weeds. There's a lot of weeds in here. I didn't know I was going to grow this weedy since it was very sandy uh, during the winter and early spring. But I guess I'll have to find ways to take care of that later on. Ooh, I have some ripe Berkey's Pink tie-dye tomatoes I'm going to pick. Picking tomatoes. Yeah, um, I was going through making a pressure canning video on how to pressure can raw pack corn. And come to find out I have an air popping up on my electric canner. And I've tried everything to fix it. Oh, this tomato is bad. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here they come. They're coming, trying to come out of the woods. But I think the new fence is baffling them. Okay, I'll just throw it out there. Don't get it. These are some Paul Robeson tomatoes. These are really good and smoky flavored. Well, so are the uh, Berkey's Pink Tie-Dye. Those are really good too. I think they're so cool looking. Yeah, we are having a problem with everybody around here <clears throat> not getting tomatoes to ripen because of the heat, but Mine are finally starting to uh, ripen quite quite well now, so I'm hoping everybody else's does too. But anyway, what I was saying about my pressure canner is it doesn't work anymore, but I could still water bath can in it. I did not know until recently it's got a water bath setting in it. So that's awesome. Um, so I'm going to freeze a lot of things since I can't can them. And I'm going to can what I can can. Hoo -hoo. I'm not sure what kind of squash that is, but I got one growing on that plant. Nothing on the Ron Denise plant. There was, and now there's not. It looks like calendula decided to self-seed here or something. I don't know what this flower is. Oh, that's the zinnia. Ha! Huh, just falling over. Okay, I'm a dork. These are some of the green beans I planted. I don't see any beans growing on them yet. Some Satoria leaf spot. Pick that off. Okay, back to picking tomatoes. 
Yeah, with the tomato jungle, it's kind of hard getting in between the plants now. Ooh, that one's still not ready, but that's okay uh, to pick, but I still can. I'm going to have to come out here and prune some of these dead branches off later. <clears throat> I've noticed some caterpillars on my cherry tomatoes and uh, found one inside one one day and I called the chickens over <laughs> and I was like who's the lucky chicken gonna get this one and they enjoyed it whoever got it I can't remember who got it it's like ooh, double bonus tomato and a caterpillar Let's see if there's any white thomasols ready yep see how white that is I brought some white thomasols to my man's friend slash, ooh, yeah, I'm going to donate to that chickens. Here, chick, 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 chick. Throw it out there. See, I, I'm interested to see if the horses like the tomatoes too, so I remembered to throw it out to the horse pasture, see if they like it. Oh, they want to be underneath there, just looking at the garden, hoping they can get in. Little did they know, I just chucked them some goodies. Uh, yes, I keep getting distracted. Okay, I'm going to set the phone down and talk. So I am going to water bath can everything that I can, which is basically pickled items and tomatoes. Um, because you could, it's only safe to water bath can high acidic items so that being said uh luckily i don't have a huge garden because <laughs> i have we only have a chest freezer here and so that space is going to run out at some point so i'm kind of thankful that my garden isn't huge this year because yeah what would i do <laughs> i guess give a bunch of food away which is fine too but I'm looking at it as a positive perspective, trying to find some positivity in all this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get back to picking tomatoes, and I'll show you what I harvest afterwards. So, Dark Gray Kitty here is going to show us today's harvest. Over here, by this beautiful kitty, is the white Thomasol. These are the black strawberry cherry tomato. These are Rutgers. These are considered salad that even though I've had some big slicers come off that plant, which yeah, these are Paul Robeson. This one's still not quite all the way ripe. Um, that one looks better. Uh, Paul Robeson. These are Berkey's pink tie dye tomatoes. These are a sunrise bumblebee cherry tomato. These are blue creamberry tomatoes. Um, and then the pink fang. This is a paste tomato. So we got slicer, 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 saladet, and then cherries. And this is today's harvest. So they just started ripening quickly like this really good. So I guess it's time for me to grab my balls because it's canning season. I'm sure that phrase is overused. I'm sure it is. So uh, I found this interesting. After I got back from Texas, which if you don't know, about four days ago I got back from the Texarkana area, and uh, Dark Gray Kitty wants to be the star of the show today. But it looked like maybe a squash vine borer was going up there, but I didn't find anything, so I'm thinking ants or something else. But since this has already got roots in the ground elsewhere, oh, it's ants, but since it's got roots in the ground elsewhere, it is still thriving. Um, so that's really exciting. Especially since this is just sand on top of clay and with all the weeds. I didn't fertilize out here. I just fertilized in the raised beds. So that's awesome. So I'm not ready to go pick squash bugs yet. I'll, I really haven't needed to water because of um, it's been raining the past couple days, believe it or not. So, yeah, I haven't been hunting squash bugs. But the population is, is it's not infested. There's... An acceptable population of squash bugs in this garden but I've started pruning my yellow straight neck squash and that is becoming loaded 
it looks like there's a bad fruit on there, but it's all right. It's loaded. And, ah, precious, be good girl. She's trying to chase freckles around the chicken. She never used to do that. So this squash is almost done. If you put your finger in there and you can still see your fingernail, it's not done as far as winter squash grows. Winter squash goes. Uh, so I'm gonna let it hang out, but look how huge the squash is so far. <laughs> so, and it's pretty prolific. I have more fruits popping on like every day. I've counted at least seven. Yeah, they're small, but I've already picked off one and ate it. And then we got this one we're trying to let finish out. Ooh, there's squash bug eggs. Just hanging out right there. I'll just put them in my little thingy over here. Which I've been lazy and just letting this collect here, but I suppose I ought to do something with it before long. And then it kind of grows. Yeah, yeah, get it down in there. All right. And the nasturtiums are struggling, but they're still going. The calendula is struggling. I don't know how much longer that's going to last. <sighs> and I've seen little fruits of other plants popping up, but they're kind of hard to see with all the tall grass. Uh, this, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's some sort of butternut squash or not butternut, uh, buttercup squash or something close to it. The Japanese Baker Creek version. I don't know. Honestly, if I really wanted to know, I'd grab my seeds out and take a picture, which I will insert that because you might be curious too. And I'm actually kind of curious now that I said that talking crap. <laughs> oh, I have amused myself sometimes. Um... I, for, I thought I recorded this, but I did not. <laughs> this is a, I think it's type of a melon based on the leaves, but I think it's either a Kiku chrysanthemum melon. Uh, I don't think it's a Kajari melon, and it, or it's either a cantaloupe or a type of a honeydew. And I'll show you the <clears throat> seed packets that I planted out. I'll insert pictures because I'm kind of curious, but I, I didn't plan on wanting to know what's where because I kind of wanted the suspense, the surprise. Dark Ray Kitty, does my garden pool look okay? Yeah? Okay. Checking the horse's water. That one has a little bit in it. And then... Well, what are you doing underneath there, poopers? You can't come into the garden. No! And this one looks okay, so I'm not going to worry about watering them yet. Uh, I toss alfalfa bales out to them, but they're not really touching it. I mean, off and on they will. And I tossed them out yesterday, early afternoon. Hi, Mary. <laughs> tossed them out yesterday afternoon, and it's still this much. So uh, we're going to need to get that those bales of hay put up underneath the underneath the, a something to protect it from the elements or something I would save it for later since they have all this fresh grass but you know what's funny is they're eating around the fescue you're not touching the fescue hi Jewel this is my sister's horse she just turned two so it's time to start breaking her out. Are you pretty? You got eye boogies, don't ya? Yeah. Oh yeah, you do, don't ya? You pretty girl. You're so soft. Mm. She does this funny thing with her lips when you scratch her neck like this. You gonna do it? You gonna show everybody your funny face? No. You must know you're on camera, huh? That's okay. Hi, Willie! Those two are spotted saddle horses. So, yeah. Hey, thank you for coming uh, and doing chores with me this morning. This is kind of my little daily routine, which doesn't take too long 
just devote a half an hour to an hour every morning to chores um, and you're good to go I mean I like to take my time doing chores and checking out my plants and my animals and stuff but man I'm so happy the horses are out here it's starting to feel like a little homestead <laughs> I love you and so does Jesus God bless everybody